Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again, and before I start, yes, the background is different, but I mean, hey, Christmas has passed, I got tons of money, I got new figures that I'll be reviewing throughout the next couple days, and sometimes you just run out of space, so I had to rearrange a few things. So, my collection of December 2020 videos is already obsolete, so... You yeah, when February starts, look forward to a January 2021 collection video. But that's not the main purpose of this video. Because, come on, this is a Transformers review. And today, I shall be reviewing... The Generation 1 Turbo Racer. With... Action Master Wheeljack. Now, before I start, yes, I know. Tons of people hate the Action Masters. Why? I mean, they do not transform whatsoever. I mean, if we take a look at Wheeljack here, we can see that even though he has a bit of vehicle detailing, like what will be the top of his, his car hood and, and his vehicle mode, as well as the actual top of his car mode, even though he still has those, he doesn't transform whatsoever. This is just a, a plain action figure. And, well, when and when people found out that these guys don't transform, they thought that was absolute heresy and just absolutely shat on the Action Masters. But for me, well, at first I hated them as well. But they've really grown on me and I want... I've decided to start collecting them. But, yeah. Having a look at the actual Wheeljack figure first. I mean, yeah. It is Wheeljack. Minus the wings, however. The head. I mean, it's Wheeljack's head, of course. Of the, the coil ears. And well, the articulation, well, the Action Masters were designed to be a bit more poseable than the older figures, but not by, by much. I mean, the head can turn, the arms do rotate, although there is no elbow whatsoever, there's nothing at the waist, but for the legs, I mean, they can move up, they can move back, it's got knees... And he actually can do the splits. Now, the reason why his legs are so poseable is because, well, from what I can remember, the action masters were actually based on the G.I. Joe figures of, of the time. Which, honestly, I, fi I find a bit hilarious because even the G.I. Joe figures at the time had more articulation than this. I mean... At least G.I. Joe figures had elbows and swiveling bits in, at their arms and waist articulation. I mean, at least with this guy, his legs are way more poseable than the original Wheeljacks figures. But he's still not really going to be able to do any dynamic poses. But before we move on to his Turbo Racer, of course, it's tech spec time. That's right, I'm I'm reading the text back again, because if you remember that, that very long Q on Marathon I did, I pretty much read the text backs for all of them, but for Wheeljack, <clears throat> function, tactical diversion, never do what your enemy expects you to do. Wheeljack built and currently drives the Turbo Racer, the most versatile ground and air attack vehicle ever made. In car mode, its energon injected liquid nitrogen cooled engine accelerates the craft from 0 to 250 miles per hour in just 3 seconds. Jeez. Armed with a laser strafer rifle and a rear mounted cannon that fires shrapnel and incendi Ugh, I can't even read. Uh, incendiary pr pr projectiles. Car instantly converts into jet fighter with nose mounted proton missile launcher. And 
And as you can see, instead of the line graph like what the older G1 figures did, this guy's got much easier to read. Well, it's much easier to read seeing how it's just made out of uh, uh, blocks this time. So, I actually sort of prefer this design over the graph design because you don't really need a decoder. As you can see, his strength and intelligence are both 9. His speed is 6. His endurance is 9. His rank looks to be 8. His courage is about 9. Firepower is 7. And skill is 8. So, yeah. I don't know if this is the same as the original Wheeljack's text spec, because... Come on, I don't have the original Wheeljack figure. If I did, he'd be in that G1 Marathon I did. But, well, that's pretty much it for the... The tech spec. Let's move on to the actual Turbo Racer. Now, as you can see... This looks like a, a doll's car, to be honest. Like, th this looks like something from a Barbie toy line. Which makes me wonder why Wheeljack would even decide to ride in this. Well, as you can see, it has been decked out with Autobot stickers. For example, this one in the hoods. And these little... Fin... Bits. As you can see, we've got some thrusters in the back. And the underneath... Aside from this bit, it's rather plain. There's no detail whatsoever. Although it does show the, the copyright date. 1990. That was actually the last year of the Transformers, so... You could argue that the Action Masters killed the Transformers. But at least in Europe, it did continue. Because in Europe, there was actually a second wave of Action Masters, and... This guy was actually recolored in the second wave as Slicer. Pretty much this guy, but his colors are blue and brown, and he's a Decepticon. But yeah. Now, Wheeljack can actually ride in this car. That's hilarious. Well, someone who was once a car can now ride one. But I'm putting him on this side to reflect the UK because in the UK we drive this side. If it was American, it would be this side. But I'm just more used to how UK cars work, so I decided to put him on this side. So he's driving this side. And then he can just go from 200. And then he can just go 250 miles per hour in three seconds, like what the tech spec said. Sadly, a complaint. He's not really that secure in there, so if you like, if he rumbled the car around, he can get undone. Well, poor choice of words. He can fall out quite easily. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the car mode. If we remove Wheeljack, well, actually, you don't even need to remove Wheeljack. So I'll just keep him in here during this transformation. So let's get so let's get this car into its jet fire mode. Well, at the start, come underneath. If you can see this, if I can keep Wheeljack in place. Come in here, fold this out, and just lock in place. Take the back tires and just fold them in like so. Take these bits and move them up. Like so. His arm's just drooping down because it's an old figure. And finally, take the front wheels and the headlights, untab them, and just move them around like so. Then, take what was the, the thruster. There we go. And tab it. it. Scares me doing that because I'm afraid I might break it. But untab it. 
just lift that up like so. And normally there would be, well, there'd be little tabs that this missile here can go into. Although, even though this guy normally has two missiles, I only have the one. But luckily, you can put what one of the missiles here. So that's how I display this guy. And here we have the turbo racer in its jet mode. And yeah, pretty much the action masses consisted of carded figures, which has little, either little drones or animals or equipment that could turn into weapons. Then we got figures who had little vehicles that could turn into little battle stations. Then we, then we had, well, these kinds of figures that had vehicles that turned into other Cybertronian vehicles. Then we had Prime with his, well, and then we have Prime with his huge truck. Pretty much, it's. It's very similar to Kenner's mask toy line. What with vehicles that can turn into either battle stations or other vehicles. That's what it's like. Hell, this would have worked better if it was a... Uh... Honestly, for me, the action masters would have worked better if they, were, if they were actually mask figures instead of Transformers figures. So that way we we can still have the transforming vehicles, but it wouldn't have non-transforming transformers. But eh, we're having a look at the actual. We're having a look at the actual vehicle. Here we can see some really cool detailing here. Just on with stickers though. Now we have this this cool nose cone. And Wheeljack still sits in there as if it's a car. And as you can see, yeah, she can put another Action Master figure in there. And what you can do is, you see this peg here? Well, if I can get Wheeljack out, and get him standing. As you can see, the Action Masters all have these holes at the bottom of their legs so they can actually stand on the uh, on these well they can stand on these pegs so if you want you can have wheeljack mounting this although as you can see on my copy this one sort of pressed in so yeah it's a bit hard to do so Honestly, it's best if you just use blue tack to stand them or just use dumb luck. But if you want, you, you can have another Action Master vehicle standing here and just ma mounting this while Wheeljack drives. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it for this figure. I mean, sure, it is fun and cool looking. But keep in mind, Wheeljack does not transform whatsoever in this. He's not... I mean, he's he's pretty much just a robot and that's it. He doesn't turn into a car, but he does drive one, so... That can be a bit weird. And complaints that I have... Well, I mean... I'm not complaining about the, oh, Wheeljack doesn't transform thing, because... I mean, come on, the Action Masters never transformed. It was just the vehicles. But actual complaints. Well, I mean, as you can see, it's a bit unstable. I mean, normally it just lays on the back wheels, but it leaves this bit elevated, so. so if you try to move it around, it can sort of teeter back and forth. Another thing is, I hate how this thing may seem a bit fragile. Because if you remember, I, I was struggling to pull this out. 
and it made that loud crunching noise. Another complaint is with the figure itself, and this honestly goes with all Action Master characters. You see, yeah, you see if I shake him, the wheels are all wobbly. Not to mention this arm's quite loose as well. I mean, it is because of the age, but the reason for the wobbly legs is because the Action Masters had the same leg construction that GI Joe did. What of the the O-ring and sides. And it also has these metal ball joints. You see? So while you can't get them standing, the legs can get a bit wobbly if But if I just try and get him sitting and back in his car. There we go. What I'll do is I'll have this arm down so it looks like he's using the It looks like he's using the stick thing. Yeah, I don't know cars that well. But yeah, aside from those complaints, I do like this thing. I mean, do I recommend it? Well, only if you're a huge fan of the Action Masters. Because come on. Even though I like the Action Masters. Transformers that don't transform is not going to sit well with with some people. Because, I mean, come on. Lots of people also hate Action Masters because they think they killed the franchise. But that was just in America. But if you don't like the Action Masters, maybe not. If you want a, a Wheeljack figure, go for the original. But if you do like the Action Masters, then I do recommend this figure because... Sure, the car looks a bit silly and like it's for Barbie or something, but the jet mode is a bit cool looking and I mean come on, this is a this is a steady toy. So yeah. I do recommend this this thing if you like the Action Masters. So this has been my review on Action Master Wheeljack and the Turbo Racer. And this is Charlie Young, signing off.